Hello, we are at Dakota, Dakota Meadows RV Park and they have an RV car wash here and we are going to do it but it is self-service so this is something new Okay, the thing with the car wash is none of their front portions are working. So this wand doesn't work in the front and neither does this foam brush on front. Quite irritating actually. So you can only basically wash one side and a little bit of the other side that can go over. Yeah. But anyway, it's cleaner than it was. It's cleaner than it was. Happy about that part. And as far as the truck, we'll get that washed separately. Look at him trying to run me over. <laughs> How was your day? I saw you stop along the way, then you passed us. Did we pass you? Yeah. I don't remember passing you. Oh, we went right there. Oh, we passed a penitentiary and we thought of you. Yeah, yeah. we did. Did you see that penitentiary on the right? Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. Today we are at Dakota Meadows RV Park in I forgot where we're at. It starts with an M. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere near Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay, we are at an Indian Tribe Casino RV Park. We're at space A30. And they are buddy lots. So what I have discovered, anytime I stay at a buddy site, I go over to the passenger side as much as I can that way even if their pull throughs are on the middle line I'm not next to them and that is exactly what I did we're as close to the passenger side as I could get however even though the site is paved it is not leveled we had to put down one stabilizers on this side so one block on this side and it is 50 amps water in water out and it's leaking yeah it's been leaking water you can see the algae grow okay so they do have a water pressure regulator 50 amps both our air conditioners are full blast because it's, even though it's October 2nd, it's 90 degree weather here. The part we did wash Wanda, however, it's only one side. So the front driver's side is still dirty. Yeah, we didn't do a good job. We're not manual labor people. Four nights. Two of the night, two of the days tomorrow and the following day is we're doing tours. And then the last day that we're here is a free free day. We do need to buy gloves. And I noticed the strips when we were doing the car wash ourselves, the bottom strip is coming out, which isn't a good thing. So look at this, the strip's coming out. So I need some epoxy before we leave. So this side's coming out and another side's coming out. So we're gonna need epoxy. So this is all of us here. It's all buddy sides, it's all pull throughs, which I like. I don't mind, <laughs> I actually don't mind that it's a buddy site because it is a pull through. And there is our wonderful wagon master checking up on everyone. Isn't this is Kathy one? I love, I love these wagon masters. Okay, we're over here, we're over there. This is Mr. Red, he's got his ladder out already. Is this part of us? Yeah, there's a lot of first tour and lifetime members. Lifetime members are five or more tours with fantasy. 
And here's the Canada contingent. There's the bathroom. You do need a car key for that. So I don't have one. I didn't request one. So I don't know what they look like inside. Hello, Miss Janice. Just walking. <laughs> videotaping everything. What's and that? videotaping everything and everyone. Oh good. <laughs> went by penitentiary. Yes, I saw that and we thought of you immediately. <laughs> it's like look, there's a penitentiary. <laughs> Who's in front of us? 21 in front of us? <laughs> Country coach. Oh look at that. They have chairs. The chairs come with the coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well. Yes. That's Marine. Good. Yes. Okay, would I stay at this park again? Oh, definitely yes. I would stay at this park again. I'm touching it. I'm going to touch the bevel. Which ones? I touched my piece of wood and I retired people made Okay, we are going to Tokyo Sushi and Grill for dinner. Oh. You didn't look at that when you picked this restaurant. Oh. One of those things that helps. Oh, okay. We're, well, we're not eating here. I guess here. we're not eating at Tokyo. We're not Sushi eating here. There's an urban walk over there. Urban walk? Yeah. W-O-K-I did. W-O-K. All right, let's give that a shot. Walter's review of the restaurant. Well, my review of the restaurant is the food was decent, a little bit overpriced. The big thing I have is cleanliness the food was fine but they don't wipe down tables and so if you're going to eat there at the restaurant you should bring something to wipe down your own table the whole time we were there they never wiped down a single table and people were reoccupying the same tables that people had just left and didn't even know that the table had already been occupied and never cleaned so uh, that's an issue for me. If I were eating there again, Ariel wiped down our table. Uh, but entering your own order, filling your own drinks, wiping down your own table, getting your own silverware or chopsticks, and then having them want a 25% tip is uh, a bit odd. Yeah. Uh, the food was decent. I would take it to go in the future. I would be hesitant to eat there in person. Okay. We go to St. Louis and uh, the property. With all the money my family has given to the Catholic Church, you would think that they would make these pews more comfortable. Oh. 
All the food coming out smells good. Some food for I have sausage and peppers. Came with pasta. I got some sort of rice ball, a Merlot, and orange juice. Okay, if you are here in a bus and the line to sandwich and entrees is long, skip around it, go through the cashier. There's a hot entree part over here where there's no one in line. So skip the line and go to the hot entree. Very good. Good food. I would eat here again. In fact, if we had a freezer, I would buy some of the sausages that they have for sale. It looked really good. You know what? We could have stood to see that video before coming here. That would have been very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so did you hear that? I don't know if you can hear me all right or not. I know you can. All right, we're going to put Tommy right down over here. Okay, guy with the camera. Don't be picking up Tommy. <laughs> Also, play with the camera. No video. No video? No video. Here's the rules on pictures, you guys. You can take as many still pictures as you want. No, the, the actual reason it was called the High Rig Bridge is because in order to get your Model T from the bottom to the top, you had to keep it in high gear, yeah. And we're having dinner at Sapporo Japanese restaurant. Miso soup. We already got done with our salad. And these are the pork dumplings. Here the I have an assortment of sushi, eel, tuna, salmon, California roll, hand roll, salmon skin, we got goiza and walker, got hibachi. Steak. Egg. With apparently some shrimp in it too. Oh. And some vegetables and... The vegetables have mushrooms? No. Okay. And I forgot to say fried rice, so I got noodles, which yeah. is perfectly fine. We are still here in Minneapolis. This is the Mississippi and we are taking a paddle boat. One of these paddle boats. Tim, good afternoon, welcome aboard. You're getting underway shortly. What are we looking at? This is, we're on a barge. This is a barge? This is a barge and there's the captain. I thought it, I thought it was a, a wheel thing. Oh, you should have seen it. He gets in there and goes, mm. he's got the penthouse. I thought it was a wagon wheel. No wheel? What's got the biggest dining area so you guys all fit in there. Oh. So you're not cramped. Oh. And this is upstairs. No one's here. It is strange how little has been written about the upper Mississippi. The river below St. Louis has been described time and again, and it is the least interesting part. One can sit on the pilot house for a few hours and watch the low shores and the other. The train finds its way all the way down to the bottom of the river. Looking through these windows here. Okay, this is where I got the beer from, from the boozer uh, table. Uh, uh, all right, Ariel. Got a bulk meal at the boat. Pork, chicken, and potato salad. It's actually. Ariel, what's in your right hand? Can I see it? Put it right in front of the camera. Right in front of the camera. Come on, Ariel. Don't keep eating. No, this is a captain. It says an hour later. You're still drinking. 
No, we're not. Well, Last week's been two hours later. <laughs> oh my god, talking trash and drinking. <laughs> Little bites now, huh? We're editing this out. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a reminder yourself, huh? Thank you, thank you. This is George. He's gonna get me in trouble. It's out of tune. It's almost scary to think he's getting better. A guy gets on a bus and he sits behind the bus driver. A lady gets on a bus. She looks at the bus driver. She goes like this. Bus driver goes like this. Lady goes like this. Bus driver goes like this. Lady goes like this. Bus driver goes like this. Lady goes like this. She gets off the bus. So now the guy who's sitting behind the bus driver is like, well, what a family. And the bus driver says, well, she's deaf and she's mute, so we use sign language. And she said, are you going downtown? And I said, no, I'm going uptown. Is this the express? Now I gotta make a few stops. You going to the dairy? No, I'm going to the Bald Park. Shit, I'm on the wrong bus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are at the Mini Tonka. <laughs> really? Okay, I don't know where we are. We're in Mystic Lake Casino at your steakhouse. Oh, we Logan's back. Okay. Are you familiar with our bread here? No, we've no. never been here before. And there you're going to have the pumpernickel rye with raisins and walnuts. The, the what? The what? The what? The pumpernickel, pumpernickel rye. Pumpernickel rye. Pumpernickel rye. Have raisins and walnuts in that. And the potato onion. Started off with Belvedere. With a cube ice, with a cube ice cube. Very nice. French onion soup, and the bread is wonderful, warm, and made here. My good, it's good soup. It's not salty. Okay, I am having the bone and egg soup. If you want, you can thank you. New York. Enjoy. I'm having roasted Brussels sprouts. Walter is having a humongous baked potato. How big this thing is. And, and oh my goodness, look at all the asparagus they've given him. And he's having an eight ounce New York, no. What are you having? Eight ounce? Filet. Filet. A seven ounce filet. Seven ounce. It might as well filet be mignon. Eight. I am just so happy they have Belvedere. <laughs> 